Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So like I've mentioned before, yes, we are a traveling couple and you know, we are known for our adventures and our van life that we are soon to be doing full time. But we also want to have a subcategory of health and fitness because we really care about just taking better care of our bodies and showing you guys our journey with that. <laughs> so today I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a very, very simple recipe for shrimp street tacos. But before we begin, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys are interested in the whole adventure lifestyle, but also taking care of yourself with the health and fitness because that is what our channel is all about. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can see more videos and be notified when we got new ones. Okay, so first, the ingredients. It's so simple, guys. Like, it's actually kind of embarrassing how simple this is. But I, like, randomly made these like two weeks ago and I just kept it as simple as possible because this is just what we had in the fridge and I was like I want tacos so I'm gonna figure something out. So first off of course you're going to want some tortillas. We use the small corn tortillas because again I have a gluten allergy so we can't use flour but you're more than welcome to. And then we always get shrimp that's already cooked so then all you have to do is just put it in water and let it heat up for a while and then you just add whatever <laughs> and then you add whatever seasoning you want to to it. We usually get medium or large shrimp, but these are actually pretty small, which actually works for street tacos. So maybe get the small ones. Maybe medium if you want them a little bit bigger. That's up to you. We always have garbanzo beans in our meals. Like every single day we're eating garbanzo beans, whether it's in a salad, it's in our stir fry, or it's in shrimp tacos. Like whatever it is that we're doing, we have them, even if it's just a side dish to some random meal. <laughs> and then I don't have the can to this anymore, but we have medium olives that we use as well. Honestly, you can use any olives that you want, but we just have the black olives. Those are personally my favorite. This is where it gets a little bit different. Well, actually, it's already pretty different because I've never had chickpeas in my street tacos before, but <laughs> we use hot sauce as like the topping. We don't use like salsa or sour cream or anything. It's just hot sauce. So if you guys want to do that, that's how it is. But you obviously can do your own toppings. If you don't like hot sauce, you can use like a chipotle sauce or you can use salsa and sour cream. Honestly, it's up to you guys, but we use hot sauce. Okay, so for cooking shrimp, I know everybody kind of does it differently, but this is just what I do. And you guys are more than welcome to do it the same way or you can do it a different way. It's all up to you. So I'm only making tacos for myself. I'm going to have two of them and I recommend putting about four shrimp in each taco. So I'm going to go ahead and put eight in my pan. Okay, so this is where I don't know if this is how people do it. I know my mom cooks her shrimp differently. That's why I think this is not normal, but I literally just fill this with water just enough that like the shrimp are in water, not like all the way up, but that's what I do. And then I put it on the stove. I turn it to medium heat and I put the lid on. So while our shrimp are, I'm gonna put this away. All right, so while our shrimp are cooking, we are going to go ahead and strain our garbanzo beans. Basically, you just wanna run cold water over them for a little while. Okay, so you can either stop there and just put them on your taco like that, or you can do what I'm gonna do, and I'm actually going to fry them and add some seasoning to them. So I'm taking another pan, and I'm literally putting all of them in there. I mean, obviously you're not gonna eat all of these with your shrimp tacos, but you can go ahead and save them and use them for a different meal like us. So this is also gonna go to medium heat as well. So for seasoning the garbanzo beans, which I just realized I might've called them chickpeas just a minute ago, those are basically the same thing. So if I am like using those interchangeably, almost like correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. <laughs> what I'm gonna use to season my garbanzo beans is garlic powder, of course, or sometimes I use like actual minced garlic, but sometimes I just like garlic powder instead. And I'm using a little bit of ground cumin. And then lastly, I usually put parsley in there. I put parsley in all of my meals. This and garlic is in every single meal of mine, but as you can see, we've used it all and I still have not picked up any more, but I highly recommend putting that in your chickpeas, garbanzo beans as well. <laughs> Don't be afraid to put a lot of garlic in because that's what's going to help your immune system. Now 
Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and chop up our olives so that everything is prepared by the time our shrimp and our tortillas are done. I honestly love olives. When I was younger, I'd put them on my fingers and act like I was an alien. Okay, so I think my shrimp is almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain most of the water. But this is very important. You're gonna to want to keep just a little bit of water left in the pan. And the reason for this is because I'm actually going to be putting some seasoning on there and it is quite spicy. So if you don't leave a little bit of water left behind, you're gonna end up coughing because your house is just full of spice. So the spice that I'm using is the Crayole seasoning. I'm totally butchering that name, but this is what it looks like. And it is so good. Oh my gosh, guys, I have really come to love its spiciness in my food. Yeah, it really just like hits you in the face, my goodness. All right, next you're gonna want a little bit bigger of a pan because we're actually going to go ahead and heat up our tortillas. So put it on just medium heat is fine and take out however many tortillas you're going to be using and heat them up. It just takes a couple minutes on both sides. All right, so I have my two tacos right here. I already put the shrimp in. I usually do a line of four in each just as the base. Then you're going to grab your chickpeas and add just as much as you want. They're going to end up falling out and I usually just end up eating the leftovers just with my fork. <laughs> but you can't really go wrong with chickpeas. And then don't forget about the olives. And then lastly, Top it with your hot sauce. And this here is the end result. It's as simple as that. If I can make it, you guys most definitely can. If you guys try this recipe, definitely tag us on Instagram at the Daring Mormons, or you can go ahead and let us know down below if you tried them and how you felt about them. Well, I know I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and go eat this. Don't forget to like the video if you wanna see more like this, and uh, yeah, see you guys later.